The new season is around the corner and a lot of build videos are going to pop up. Also, a lot of them are going to be a waste of your time. Today, I'm going to save you some time by showing you some of the best mod combinations people will use in Arc 3.0. Now, I've been in your shoes before. I clicked on a video thinking this build looks sick, only to swipe off 3 minutes later because there just wasn't anything new or useful in the video. The reason is we use the word build a lot and it just means a group of mods that we stack up with some abilities. Outside of the seasonal artifact mods, these mods haven't changed in almost a year and a half. So there really isn't much that's new. The problem is there are 365 of these mods, which is a lot to go through just to try to have fun with the game. So I reduced that to just eight that would most likely affect Act 3.0. To make things easy to understand, I'll be breaking this down into four sets of mods. Charge with Light and Elemental Well mods are the more fun and game altering mods, while Warmind Cells and Generic mods are usually more straightforward in what they do. Starting with Warmind Cells, there is one mod we are going to cover and it's called Modular Light. It causes a burst of arc energy when you destroy Warmind Cell. I know there are people out there that love their 7 Seraph weapons and still believe that Warmind Cells will make a comeback soon. Maybe that time is now and Bungie will bring out a new artifact mod in this upcoming season that makes double Warmind Cells or something or allows us to make Warmind Cells without using those weapons. So we'll just have to wait and see. An honorable mention for Warmind Cell mods would be Chosen of the Warmind. I find this interesting because this concussion or disorient thing only happens on arc. Chosen of the Warmind causes concussions when you destroy Warmind cells, so if we have any abilities that benefit from enemies having a concussion, then this could be useful. If this is not relevant after arc 3.0, then it probably is never going to get used in this game. For Elemental Well mods, we have two fun ones, Well of Aeons and Well of Striking. Aeons gives more melee energy on Arc Well pickup and Striking gives more melee damage. This is definitely at the top of my list for trying out in the new season because it requires little to no setup and if you've seen me play before, you know I love my melees. So let's slow things down for a second for those people who might be getting a little bit overwhelmed. These are the four mods that we've talked about so far and a quick description of what they do. We've saved the best for the last and these mods haven't been talked about much cause frankly Ark has not been in a good place in PvE for quite some time. But with the revamp coming soon, that's about to change. We have five mods that go hand in hand, three charged with light and two generic mods. The charge with light mods are taking charge, striking light and reactive pulse. Striking light spawns orbs of power on melee kills, taking charge turns orbs into charge with light and while you charge with light, reactive pulse makes you emit a burst of arc energy when you take damage while surrounded which will most likely happen since you're going to be meleeing things a lot. Speaking of melees, most of the things associated with arc in destiny are tied to melees so if you're wondering why we're talking about melees so much. It's not just because I'm a titan who eats crayons, it's actually Destiny's choice. So let's finish up with the mods. Since we'll be making a lot of orbs with this setup, let's not forget orbs also give super energy. There's a mod called Hands On that also increases the amount of super energy you get on melee kills. So in all, you're able to get your super really quick with this setup that we've talked about so far. You can also use this with invigoration to turn those orbs of power into melee energy, which means you have the stronger melee more often, which allows you to get more kills and makes the whole build come together. Those are some of my best mod selections for Arc 3.0. You could test those out and see what works for you before the season is even released, because like I said, none of this stuff is really that new anyways. YouTube's algorithm has picked this video for you to watch. I hope you enjoy it. Or oh, Lucania, you have a point.